The college football season's third week gets going on Saturday at Wabash College. They'll be paying the first game in that school's new football stadium. And as Brad Brown shows us, it's a very big deal for the Little Giants. Here's a look inside in tonight's Sports Extra Spotlight. There's something fresh about football at Wabash College this fall, and not just the fact that they're back after a 2020 scrubbed out by the pandemic. It's just great to see all of our team together finally for the first time in a year and a half. Um, and to look at the stands and imagine that we're going to see thousands of fans, it's an incredible feeling. Maybe an extra bounce in their steps as practices continue. Maybe that extra bounce is coming from the new turf part of so much that's new around here. It's, it's crazy just being here now. Like I've seen the whole process it, of it being built last year. So actually just getting to come out here, put on my jersey and everything to play is just surreal. This week, Wabash will finally get a chance to showcase the all new Little Giants Stadium. Years in the making, finally a reality after a group of alumni donors came together to fund the $13 million project. The one caveat they had when we built the place was it could not be taller than the chapel. That was their that was their only input. It, it just speaks volumes to the kind of guy that goes to Wabash, graduates, and then gives back at the end. The new facility sits right on the footprint of the old one. Decades of Wabash history on display and honored throughout the walkways and concourses. The great traditions of Wabash football, they're all here as well. It's a point um, made from a lot of it comes from the upperclassmen, the coaches, the school as a whole. Um, but the history of Wabash and specifically Wabash football is really important and it really feeds into kind of the tradition expectation that we have um, for the team. Senior offensive lineman Dane Smith got a chance to work as an intern with the stadium's construction team. You know, I almost feel like the secret holder, you know, because obviously when construction was still going on, I had the opportunity to be here. Um, when a lot of other student athletes could, you know, seeing everyone's excitement, you know, and everyone really did know exactly how incredible this place would be, um, not just for the football team, but for all of campus. And so that, that obviously was, was unique. Now, the stadium could have been ready for a home opener a year ago, but without a 2020 season, there's been a full year of anticipation to what will be now game one here for the Little Giants coming up on September 18th. Up top, all the amenities of a new stadium, club seats, boxes, and a suite that the college will use year-round for much more than just football. It's the scope, right? It's the scope of the project and what it's going to mean for Wabash College and what it means for our alumni and our students and the community on a football game day. The first of many memorable Saturdays comes this weekend when Wabash is home against Allegheny College. In Crawfordsville, Brad Brown, WRTV Sports.